So, going back and forth between IK and FK is great when you're animating, but what if you want to do it in Unreal 5 directly? Not a problem. After you've imported your animation, open it in under Curves, Add Curve, Create Curve, name it, Attach Weapon to IK. It will give you a curve, and then if you double-click it, you can assign it values. Then you can right-click and add keys to control the values along the timeline. 1 is when IK is enabled, meaning the weapon is not meant to follow the hand. 0 is when FK is enabled and the weapon is meant to follow the hand. In my animation, the sword is on the ground at the beginning and the end of the animation so that is when we are setting the values to 1 and 0 everywhere else. Regardless, when you're done you can change the preview asset to your character to make sure everything that looks right. And if you want to preview the weapon on your weapon bone, you can right click the bone, add a preview asset, and pick your weapon mesh just to double check. Now if you didn't animate correctly you might see that your IK joints are not following the hands and feet the way they're supposed to. And we can fix this by going manually up to the window, animation data modifiers, add a copy bone modifier, modifier and add five array indexes and set them up like this. Weapon R, IK handgun, hand R, IK hand R, hand L, IK hand L, feet L, IK feet L, and feet R, IK feet R. Then apply and all of your IK bones should be where they're supposed to. Now we right click and create an animation blueprint and set it to our character. Mine just has the default skeleton so that's what I'm using. Name it. Then drag your animation in, get a copy bone node, and on the right, set scale bias to anim curve value. Tell it the name of your curve, and it has to be exact. We called ours attach weapon to IK, so that's what's gotta go in here. Copy translation, copy rotation, then at the top right, set the source bone to IK hand gun, and the target to weapon R, or whatever name of the joint that controls your weapon is. Then set everything like so. You can set the preview mesh here if you haven't already, apply to asset, and just so that we can see if it's working or not, we'll set the animation to loop temporarily. Save. Cool. Now technically you're done, so from this point we can create a new blueprint, give it a skeletal mesh, set it to our animation blueprint, and then add a static mesh, which is the child of the skeleton, and set the static mesh to your weapon, and under the parent socket set it to the joint that controls your weapon. In my case it's weapon R. And check it out. Now you have a blueprint with animation that swaps between IK and FK animation based on a curve. Hope that helps and as always hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.